Hi everybody! In this video we're going to practice short vowel sounds. What are these? Have a look at this vowel chart. If this looks new to you, make sure to check out my video on the vowel chart where I explain this chart. On the chart you can see all the vowel sounds of British English. Some of them are orange and some of them are green. All the orange sound symbols are for short vowels and you can see them also in the table. I, e, e, a, o, u, and u, the schwa. All the vowels in green with the two dots next to them are the long vowels. So those are long sounds. You can really make them for as long as you have breath. Of course, in a word, they wouldn't be that long. But let's listen to them again. I will read them out from the box. E, U, Ö, A, A. Those are all long vowels. Now in this video, we're only going to focus on the short vowels. They are also called monophthongs. Also, the long vowels are called monophthongs. Um, so sometimes you hear monophthongs and sometimes you will hear the term vowels. Now, we're going to start off with a little revision. This is a fun game. In um, the box on the right, you see the task. You need to match all of the words to the sounds, to the sound symbols. So we've got all our vowel sounds and then we have a number of words. Let's start with the first one. Fell. Fell. Which one is the correct vowel sound and vowel sound symbol? Have a quick look. Fell. Exactly. It's e. Eh. Fell. You can see the red star will show you where the sound is on the vowel chart. Next we have fun. Fun. And here we have an uh sound. Fun. Fun. Next up we have fit. Fit. This is a short i sound. Next up, we have the word fat. Fat. Have a quick look. Which of the sounds is it? Fat. Yes, it is the e. Eh. Fat. Next up, we have the word foot. Foot. And yes, this is a short o uh sound. Foot. I know the spelling, especially with a double O, some of you might think this is a long sound, but no, the double O is a short U sound. Next up, we have fox. Fox. And this is a short A uh sound. And then, therefore, it is very easy. The last word for is obviously the one that we will match with the schwa. However, if we say the word on its own and we stress it, for actually has a long o sound. However, for is kind of a bit like a preposition almost. Most of the time, this word will not be stressed and it will occur in its weak form. And if you know a little bit about English phonology and pronunciation, you know already that in unstressed words, very often we have a schwa. The vowel sound got reduced to a schwa and that is the case here. So very often what you actually hear is not for, but for, for. And so that is my example. Wonderful. So we just revised all these short vowel sounds. Let's now get practicing. This is what you will have to do. 
I'm going to show you one sound symbol. And first of all, you need to listen to the sound. Listen carefully to the sound. Number two. Then you need to read the five words out loud that you will see on the screen. And I want you to listen very carefully to yourself. Which word has a different sound? One of the words will be different to all the others. All the other four will contain the sound that I displayed but one of them does not belong in the group. And so sometimes if one doesn't belong in a group, we also say it is the odd one out. So which word is the odd one out? It contains a different sound. And then you just listen and check. Okay, let's get started. Here is our first sound. Listen to the sound. I. I, I. Now read the five words out loud and listen to yourself. Which word is the odd one out? It does not contain I. Listen and check. Sitting, English, busy, women, shirt. And the answer is shirt, because shirt contains e, uh, and that is a long vowel sound, and it's not e. So let's have a look at the other words. I highlighted all the letters representing the e sound. Sitting, we have two I sounds. English, also two. Busy, I know some of you might think it's buzzy or buzzy, but no, it's an I sound. Busy and also women, the plural from woman, women. Next sound. Listen to the sound. Oh. Oh, oh. Read the words out loud and listen carefully. Which word has a different sound? Listen and check. Cut, could, put, foot. Bull. And the answer is cut. Cut has an ah sound. And here you can see the uh sound. Sometimes it is represented by o u, sometimes by u, and sometimes also by double o. So the spelling can change and vary. Next sound, oh, oh, oh. Listen to the sound, oh. Now read the words out loud. Which word does not contain oh? Listen and check. Clock. What. Hot. Hat. Want. And the answer is hat. Hat contains a. Eh. And here you can see the o oh sound is represented sometimes by the letter O and sometimes by the letter A. Next sound. Listen to the sound. Ah. 
Ah. Ah. Read the words out loud. Which one is the odd one out? Listen and check. Bus. Cut. Busy. Lunch. Cup. And the answer is busy because busy contains i. Hopefully you had paid attention before because we had that word come up earlier. Busy contains i. And here you can say see all of the other ones or have a u spelling for the a uh sound here. Listen to the sound. Eh. 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 Now read the words out loud. Which word does not contain eh? Listen and check. Said. Very. Head. Bed. We. And the answer is we because we contains a long e sound. And you can see e is represented by various spelling patterns a i, e, e a, or e. So all of those are pronounced e. Said, very, head, bed but we has a long E. Listen to the sound. Eh. Now you might think, wait a second, Billy, isn't that the same as before? No, not quite. I'm just going to go back one step. This one is E and this one is Eh. You have to open your jaw a little bit more. If you want to find out more about the differences between these two sounds, watch my individual videos on all of the vowel sounds. So listen to the sound. Eh. 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 Read the words out loud. Which one does not contain eh? Listen and check. Black. Fast. Cat. Hat. Head. And the answer is fast. Fast contains a long R sound, but black, cat, hat, and head all contain an E. All of the spelling though is the same, it's always an A, so it doesn't really help much. Um, but sometimes an A could be a long A as in fast and sometimes it is pronounced with an E as in black and cat and hat and head. Now I wanted to say one more um, thing about this last word, head. Now, usually this is used as an auxiliary verb to help us form um, the past perfect, for example, or other structures. And if that is the case, then most of the time it is not stressed. And so you would hear it in its weak form. And so you don't have a head, but it's containing a schwa here, head. So it's slightly shorter and not as wide open. So head. So you could say it's also the odd one out. Of course, very often it gets reduced even further and you simply only hear a D. And when we spell it, we would use apostrophe D. 
Let's look at the last sound. This is a special sound called the schwa. It's the central vowel sound in English and you can find out more about the sound in one of my other videos. Let's listen to the sound. Uh. 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 Now have a look at all of these words. The question is still, which word does not contain a schwa sound? However, all of the words contain two vowel sounds. So you have a vowel sound, short or long, and then a schwa. But there's one word does not contain a schwa. Which one is it? So read the words out loud to yourself. Which one is it? Listen and check. Away. Cinema. Waiter. Always. Doctor. I think this is a little bit more difficult, so I'm going to read them out one more time. Away. Cinema. Waiter, always, doctor. And the answer is always. We have two vowel sounds here, or a long vowel sound at the start, and then a, a diphthong, a double vowel sound. Both of them are represented by the letter a, but they are two different pronunciations. Um, always but no schwa so let's have a look where the schwas are in all of the other words away here we have it right at the start this is an unstressed syllable because the stress is on way the second syllable away so the a the letter a is an uh, a schwa sound away then we have it in Cinema, the second syllable. Cinema, n, n, cinema. And then in waiter and doctor, it's right at the end. The er and or are schwa sounds. Sometimes with they are r colored schwa sounds, uh, but they both are um, represented by a schwa. Waiter, doctor.